is your F-250 burning oil? Uh, if it is, this video might be for you. Uh, the 2015 and 16 F-250s built within a certain date have been uh, known to burn oil. And not so much if you're putting on a lot of miles, but uh, if you do a lot of stop and go kind of traffic or a lot of points, when we do snow, uh, the truck uses a lot of oil and, you know, uses uh, sometimes more than other times. So during the winter, we're going to burn more oil because we're doing a lot of stop and go, a lot of idling, doing snow. But uh, during the summer, it can go a little further between uh, adding oil. But it's weird because this is a 2015 F-250 and it only has like 11,000 miles and it's burned oil since day one. So uh, the problem is it says some vehicles, uh, some 2015 and 2016 F series Super Duty F-250s and 350s. F 250s and 350s. Uh, vehicles equipped with a 6.2 liter uh, engine built between 3 1 2014 and 9 8 2015 may exhibit excessive oil consumption due to an internally leaking baffle on the right side valve cover. So the right side valve cover is right here, uh, right side, and then your, your, your positive crankcase ventilation holes is back there. Oh. right here right there so that's where your uh, exhaust gases that accumulate inside the crankcase that's where they get uh, vented out back through the intake and uh, sucked down to burn in the combustion cycle so that constantly evacuates uh, gases exhaust gases that seep down into the crankcase it evacuates them out and it prevents the crankcase from building up pressure and uh, if, if your crankcase built up pressure it would uh, it would cause your seals to leak and it cause some other issues so that prevents that from happening but the problem with this truck is the baffling on some of these engines built within that certain time period inside of this valve cover apparently is not right it's not correct and the problem is like ever since uh, this truck Ever since this truck has been burning oil, I've been going back and forth to different dealerships, a couple different dealerships, and none of them really even want to touch it. So it's been kind of tough. Uh, the truck is under a warranty, obviously, for like another year, and the mileage is well into warranty. So it's just been kind of hard to figure out what's wrong with it and get it taken care of because while my truck's never been run dry on oil, it's been about a quart low. And it kind of scared me at first, but uh, be careful because it can quickly get out of hand and you can be uh, running out of oil. So if you got a 2015 or 16 built between 3114 and 9815, go to your dealer and make sure you check it out. Uh, what you could do is go to uh, ford.oemdtc.com and print that off and take it up to the dealer uh, I've done that and they've been kind of like confused apparently you have to look in the right place in their computer and they just haven't taken the time two different dealerships haven't taken the time I actually ended up uh, talking to a Ford technician that actually has a YouTube channel and uh, he helped me out and looked in the computer for me and found it helped me find the issue and the truck is covered so I'm going to be pretty soon getting this truck uh, repaired under warranty and uh, Ford it will fix this so if you're within the mileage what they're gonna do is replace your valve covers if you do, if you're still under warranty what they're gonna do is they'll replace your valve cover on the right side with the new one that's gonna stop the oil from burning and then they're gonna turn around and also replace all 16 spark plugs so it's not something that you want to do yourself if you can get into a dealer and get it taken care of under warranty uh, better to go that route because it's got this truck has 16 spark plugs uh four of them are going to be right under your coil packs right here here's your coil packs the little wire going there and then you got your i think that's it there yep there's your coil packs then it's got a spark plug ignition wire from the coil pack running down to all the way down underneath just to like down by the exhaust manifold so 
if you do it yourself, you're looking at changing out that uh, if you're out of warranty. I would still press for them to do it, but you're looking at changing out that valve cover. And then you're looking at uh, changing out all 16 spark plugs just because they've probably been fouled out a little bit. And changing out 16 of these spark plugs would be really tough. I mean, for me, I mean, you, I already can tell you got to take this intake this intake plastic stuff off probably not that hard but still then you got to take out all your coils and then you got to go go all up underneath here probably up under by the by the wheel well and uh try and pop these out from down here which would suck and get a wrench in there maybe from down here and going back and forth from top to bottom and it just would not be a fun thing to do uh so this is a a little bit of update if you guys been following this. If not, if your first time, if it's your first time hearing about uh, me talk about this issue, uh, hopefully within the uh, next week or so we can get something figured out, and I'll uh, I'll take you guys along with me and I'll keep you posted. Uh, thank you for watching, Donna Sean, and uh, have a good day.